An issue surrounding cheerleaders at an area high school basketball game now has them sitting on the bench. Nine on your sides. Claire Curry has been digging into the situation all day. She's joining us now live outside of Jacksonville High, high School. So Claire, what can you tell us? Angie Ken, a group of cheerleaders from JHS wanted to show their school spirit and support their team at last Monday's game, but now they're facing punishments for it. JHS had a scheduled basketball game at White Oak on Monday, January 15th, but due to scheduling conflicts, the cheer coach said the team wouldn't be on the sidelines. The girls asked her if they could still go. The, her text message said, yes, you guys go, have fun, sit together, you know, and be safe. At the game, the girls paid to get in as fans and dressed in their tracksuits from cheer, but not in their uniforms. When the team needed a morale boost at the end of the game, they asked the assistant principal. She said, yes, just let me double check. Then when she came back, I guess she talked to the principal or whoever. They said, yeah, no, they can't cheer. Understanding the dangers of performing any stunts or tumbling without coaches there, they showed their support from the bleachers. At the last two to three game, the girls like stood up chanting, go Cardinals, go. But they had arm gestures like cheerleaders, but that's their natural thing. Uh, but they did not attempt to go on the floor, nor did they attempt to do anything but show school spirit and support and love towards their team. According to Onsel County Schools, the girls presented themselves as the cheer squad by doing so and now are facing repercussions. Five game suspension off the cheerleading team. Um, but they could attend games, but not sit with nowhere near the cheerleaders or or do any types of cheering. And um, then there was two games suspension with two days of ISS mm -hmm. and or either three days suspension at home. Mm -hmm. Including one girl who isn't even on the cheer team. I have twins, so one twin is cheering, one is not. Um, the one who is not cheering ended up, she didn't have a choice. She ended up getting two days of ISS, and I still don't understand how, again, she is punished. In a statement from OCS, no punishments from this issue would involve any out-of-school suspension, and the families are considering appealing the punishment. A petition is out now backing the cheerleaders for showing their school spirit and we'll have that and the full statement from OCS on our website at WNCT.com. Live in Jacksonville, Claire Curry 9 on your side. Claire, thank you.